Yeah, I think we were all disappointed with the banner. I think the one of the really positive things about the, the recent um, happenings and, and the movement that's happening is the, the togetherness and the um, that the players are showing, clubs are showing, everyone involved is showing to try and move forward. So I think it was a small step back, but the reaction I think has been another positive move and everybody um, has, I think has reacted in the same way outside of the people that, are, that think the other way to, to the rest of us. And I think that's been positive in terms of that. Well, I, would, I hope it's not on the club. I mean, the, you know, it's a, it's a small amount of people involved, I, I gather. I mean, I'm, I'm getting more information all the time. I haven't got all the facts. Um, and like I say, I don't think that can, then should, I don't think it should actually um, try and somehow give a view of a town or the club. Um, but what we can do is continue the good work we do through the community, continue the work we do through education. Um, we know, like I say, we've got a captain. I must make it clear, but I think this is important. It was my decision to let the captain speak. There was a number of players felt very passionately about that moment. So I must be, you know, I want to make that fair to my players because a number of them said about it, and, and most of them actually, um, who have like Twitter accounts, if I said, look, for now, Ben will do the talking and I'll do the talking. So to make that clear, there's a lot of our players were all um, disgruntled and upset by that and wanted to somehow let people know that. So it was my decision to let Ben speak. I thought he did a very good job, by the way, uh, very authentic as, as the man that he is. Um, you know, and, and, and I played my part with it as well on behalf of the club and I know the CEO has been out and the chairman as well. So, you know, I think we're united as a club. Um, we can't speak for everyone in the town, but I'd like to think this needs to be looked upon as a, a small case of, of individuals rather than a whole town and a whole club. I think I don't think there's a, a want for trying. I think, you know, uh, certainly it's, it, it continually gets stronger every year in, in, in my lifetime in football. And we're all getting more and more educated across the board, our children as well, um, in the rights and wrongs of life. And I think it enhances it. And, and there has to be some form of a, a silver line into the cloud. And that is probably another step in enhancing it even further. You know, the reaction to that moment has been so overpowering and, and positive towards um, the, the balance of life, if you like, you know, and now the things that need to be addressed, then if there is a, a silver line to that cloud of that moment, it is that. It does reinforce further the, the respect and the, 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 all the messages that have been going out for a long time about making sure that it doesn't exist. And I think it's just another step in that. And, and, but I must say, I think it's been going on. Football's been pushing hard for a long time now about these messages and will continue to do so and, and should continue to do so quite obviously.